All right, welcome back. This is Matt Lewis here. We're going to go ahead and configure the Pingback Optimizer plugin. As you can see, it says, please enter a valid license key. That's what you're going to get on every single screen until you actually come down here to the license tab and you enter it in. Now, I just made one up here just to test. So let's test at test.com. All right, there you go. API key and email address is valid. So that means you have a working key. Next thing you want to do is just go to the configure the plugin and let this load up. Okay, so here you go. So what we want to do is we want to start off by putting in how many URLs we want in each feed. We can do one in between one and twenty. I'm just gonna put in ten for right now. You can put in whatever you like, or you can click this box which will make it random. You also want to determine how often you want this to run, whether it's weekly or once every two weeks, once a month or Depends on how many uh, pingbacks you're getting. If you're not getting all that many, maybe every 90 days is enough. Let's leave it at uh, seven days. And you want to enter in your email address here because it's going to send some emails to you. You could also put in more than one email address. Just separate it by a comma. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So whatever you want to put in there. Um, then for email option, you want to go ahead and en enable that if you want to uh, get the automated reports. You want to fill this in no matter what because in the export screen option, you have an option to email yourself the report, so it's going to email them to whatever is in here. So even if you disable the email for the weekly reporting or uh, you know, bi-weekly or you know, every 14 days, whatever you select up here, uh, you want to make sure that you select this. Uh, however you want, and also you want it to run automatically. That way it'll run every seven days all by itself. When you're done, just click OK, and that's all you have to do. Everything else is taken care of, um, and that's basically it. You are complete. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of the other tabs here as well. We've got it all configured. Let's go to Export Management. And basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna export your trackback so you can decide whether um, you know, you want from a date range, you can select the date range in here, or you can just click on select all. And then from here you can download the file, or you can send by email and put your email address in here and just click OK. Alright? Also, trackbacks, you can view, you know, click on all the trackbacks if you like, and just click OK. And what it'll do is it'll pull up all the different trackbacks that this, this one blog in particular has 100, uh, 100 on the money, uh, uh, trackbacks. So, that's pretty good. It'll process all of these and it'll go ahead and submit them all to the uh, RSS directories. If you look at the comments, there's 101 comments. So one of them is actually a comment. The other 100 are actually trackbacks. Okay, so that's how that works. And then uh, similarly, the export feed. Uh, there's no feeds created yet. We just installed this plugin, but uh, you could just click on um, all or you could put in a date range if you want. Click OK and you could view the different feeds that have been generated. Uh, during that time frame. Uh, for comment management, want to make sure you're very, very careful with this button. It says delete unapproved comments. Now we put this here because uh, we have some blogs that get a lot of comment spam and instead of waiting through them all and manually deleting them all, once the trackbacks have all been submitted um, and they're all up to date and we've gone through and found the comments that are actually legitimate, we can just hit this button and I'll, I'll hit it. It'll actually prompt you to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit cancel, but uh, it'll prompt you again to make sure that's what you want to do. But it'll delete all these comments and uh, all the ones that are unapproved, and it will get rid of them for you. That way you don't have to wade through you know hundreds or possibly thousands of spam comments if you have that problem, and uh, it'll take care of that for you. So we just wanted to add that in there. Uh, submission report. This shows the last time that it was submitted. And of course, it hasn't um, actually uh, ran yet, so there's no links here to the feeds. But the first time it runs, it will have uh, links there. This is for the existing trackbacks. Let me load this page up. What this will do is if this is the first time you've installed this plugin and you have some trackbacks that are just sitting there and you want to go ahead and process those, just click OK and it'll go ahead and it'll create feeds and it'll submit them, submit them to the feed directories for you. This could take a little while, so just uh, hit OK, especially depending on how many you have. We have a hundred of them here, so it could take a little while to process them all. Um, but that's that's what this page does. And then, of course, you're familiar with the license page. Um, if for some reason um, 
this gets deleted, just enter back in here and click OK, and it'll uh, query our servers and reactivate your plugin. All right? So that is it. That's everything you need to know about the Pingback Optimizer and how to install it in the previous video, and then now how to configure it and how it works. If you have any questions at all, there's a link at the bottom of this page uh, to our uh, help desk. All right? Again, thanks a lot.